Bonjour, Mishka Pagnan, Quain Edition of Hi, everybody. It's Sandy Boucher here once again. I'm Red Thunderbolt Woman of the Loon Clan, a proud member of Seine River First Nation in Northern Ontario. And this week, I have a suggestion for you. It's actually something I've been wishing for for a long time. And if you could help me make this a reality, well, then we could be best buds for life. The reality is before I started my own business and became an inspirational speaker, I worked in employment and training for 20 years. We helped indigenous people go back to school, find a new job, or even start their own business. And obviously we worked with a lot of employers, whether it was nonprofit or for-profit businesses looking to hire people. What many of them didn't realize, the employers, I mean, is that to hire an indigenous person, that indigenous person is now entering a cross-cultural relationship. Now, often we think because the First Nations are located within Canadian borders that it's all one country. That absolutely is not the case. More accurately, it would be like you taking a job in Japan, having to learn a whole new way of doing things, new rules, new expectations, and new values. That's why retention is such a challenge. We have employers that hire Indigenous, but are they able to keep them on staff? And no, it's not because the Indigenous people are lazy. It's just really hard to work in a cross-cultural environment, especially if no one else understands what that's like. And here's the ask. I think we really need to start hiring Indigenous support people. If you're gonna bring on a new Indigenous person, especially if they're like a summer student or someone who's just graduated, There needs to be another person on staff or hired as a consultant that they can call and talk through these challenges with. This is someone else who has walked the walk, another indigenous person who understands how overwhelming it can be. That extra support can change your retention numbers. And it's just not something that we can afford to go without. Not if you truly want to hire and retain Indigenous people. It's part of reconciliation, and I'm really hoping that you can help me with that. Until next week, take care. Bye-bye.